This is so good. Institutional. Gaslighting. Gaslighting. Well, I don't so think anyone's good. ever been I as excited about this. the words institutional gaslighting. <laughs> uh, Nick, just pick up with uh, People are saying with this trailer, uh, deliberately or otherwise, it's a lot more, the language a lot more uh, incendiary uh, and so forth. So, uh, you know, because after the, the first, was it one or two, people watched it and went, oh, actually, it's just a kind of... It's a lovely show. For the show. most part, it's just a love it's story. Like, it's like this morning, you see our trailers, they look so good, and then you come You're on... watching it. Yeah, it's, it's dry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same. Uh, what's your take, Nick? Well, the only reason I will watch it, Dermot, is because Alison's in it. I've just learned that I'm now, because I actually... I'm in this. I know, but I, I find it really upsetting. What, my upsetting two sons you? are brought... My two sons are broadly the, broadly the same age as these two princes. And I just... I, I, I heard Harry there, and I've seen the trailer. He just looks so distressed and so overwrought. You almost want to put your arms around him and tell him, look, we'll make it all better. I hate to think that the family are fighting, and clearly the fighting is at such a level. That this is my flight to freedom. This was institutionalised gaslighting. And, you know, if any of you, your viewers now listening who've got children, they'd lie for my brother, but they won't lie for me. It actually distresses me to see a young man who's had so many issues as a young lad when he lost his mum... Clearly, whatever support or help should have been provided, and I'm not blaming anyone here, but clearly the help the lad needed wasn't there. It's being played out now. I genuinely, I find it really upsetting to watch. I think the young man uh, just needs some great help and some love from somewhere. Isla. Well, I think that the language in this trailer is much stronger than the first one. And I was on last week, we were analysing the fact that they were using fo f you know, footage of paparazzi at a completely different event. And what's been analysed in this one is the wording. So when he's saying that they, you know, he, they, that he wasn't, they weren't protecting us, but they're protecting my brother. In the they? subtitles, it says the British media, yeah. like what he's saying is words. So there is confusion as to who's he meaning. And this is what we've got to be careful with. I think that the producers, of course, they do. They make it all, you know. <laughs> um, but as we saw with the first, the first trailer for last week, there's a bit where Megan goes, and then boom, and you, you, you think this is something really negative. When I watched the documentary, her going, Poof, it was actually about her falling in love. Mm. So when it's, things are taken out of context, but without doubt, the language is very strong here, and I think this, the next episodes are going to be a lot harder, and we're going to really find out if there are any true bombshells. I thought the first three were way more underwhelming than I anticipated, and when I read some of the newspaper headlines about bombshells, I'm like, did we watch a different programme? Sure. Is this not just somebody telling their side of the story, though, Nick? It's just them telling their story, is it... their truth. Yeah, it's their truth. I'm... I, as Isla pointed out, some of the images that we've seen already, if you look at the trailers, and I appreciate they not, might, might not have made the trailers, but is it actually the truth? We remember those sensational claims on the Oprah Winfrey interview that were never actually challenged about that, conversations that were meant to be had. Certainly, it's uh, uh, absolutely the truth as they perceive it. I get that. But I just wonder if we need to hear the other side. Yeah, you just you wish much. it was going on behind closed doors with the families talking out rather than doing it on television. No, I'm Although loving Alli every Alli minute of it. I am in. I am watching the next episode. Hopefully I'm in it again. <laughs> it's going to be great. Megs! <laughs> I'll come over and have Megs! a Megs! No, you, I, don't say that that... The, I don't say that in the document. I go, Megan, we love you. That's what you get on the yeah. thing about... But I did say Megs at the time. <laughs>